magic fingers. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aquia B. If you haven't already, feel free to check out the latest content on my channel and also feel free, if you like what you see, to stick around on this channel, leave a like, comment something down below and also subscribe to this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my Christian motivational morning routine. So this is covering a whole hour of Christian devotion in the morning and I think it's just the perfect way to start off your day. It's the perfect way to set a foundation and make sure that you have the most constructive and productive day that you can. So in this routine I have four sections. It is in an hour but it's like a Christian motivational little devotional circuit so each section that I will focus on is 15 minutes long but usually if I want to I will switch it up a bit so I might if I feel like I'm really into one of the sections then I'll just carry that on for a bit longer. So this is more like a rough guide so if you want to begin it and then see how you want to adjust it to yourself. So in this routine, I first off start with prayer, then I move on to reading, and then I do my devotional, and then I will listen to a sermon. Okay, so for the first aspect of this circuit that I'm going to focus on, it is prayer. So in prayer, it just allows me to be still in God's presence and to be able to just listen and to just be able to listen to his will for my life. Um, it also allows me to thank him for everything he's already done and everything that he's doing through my life and also to be able to bring to him any concerns or dreams or goals or ambitions that I have and to be able to just bring them to him first, surrender him, surrender them to him first um, and then see what he does with it. He might think it's completely useless because God's will and God's plan is above everything that I could imagine for myself. So. Okay, so when I read the Bible, I like to cover all the senses. So when I was first reading the Bible, I found it quite hard to engage with like, just reading this massive book, because I've never read something so big before. Um, and obviously they have, usually in a Bible, they have little plans like at the front or the back, and it will tell you like how you can read the Bible in a year, for example. Um, and I've kind of been doing it my own way, but with, physically reading the Bible and then I also listen to the audiobook version of the Bible which is on YouTube for free. So that is how I read the Bible, that's how I study the Bible and that's just how I find it easiest to be able to cover my whole senses, completely immerse myself in it and yeah, it helps me to focus a bit more. Okay, so for the third part of this circuit, I'm gonna focus on a devotional. So I like to do devotionals just to be able to apply the word into my life, to be able to think about it, to be able to mull it over and to be able to um, think more in depth about the word and to be able to study it more essentially. So when you do a devotional for me, it just helps me to think more about what I'm reading and to be able to apply it to my life. So I'm going to be talking about the devotional called Restart on Uversion, the Bible app on the Apple Store and I'm pretty sure you can get it on Android as well. Um, but I'll be talking you through how I use that and how I do that uh, when I show you the visual of how I do my devotional.
Okay, so for the last aspect of this circuit, I'm going to be focusing on listening to a sermon. So listening to sermons just allows you to listen to the word and listen to it be preached practically and how you can apply it to your life and it's just a bit of encouragement and motivation mostly so i like to listen to it in the morning just to be able to feel a bit more refreshed to think about the day a bit differently not to take things for granted um maybe to rejig some things in my life and refocus uh, most of the time when you listen to a sermon you get that moment where you're like oh like damn like that hit me like i need to change that or like i need to fix that or like i could do with some more of that so yeah um listening to sermons definitely helps encourage and also motivate you for the day and also for the rest of your life because it is a lifestyle it's not just a morning motivation kind of thing so um, it helps in that aspect um, I like to listen to a variety of pastors um, some of my favorites I'll just listen to uh, male and female uh, pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts and also pastor Stephen Furtick um, those are two really good pastors that I listen to regularly um, and they also have really encouraging and motivational sermons that will literally change the way that you think about life and your perspective and the way you go about your life so yeah definitely check those pastors out if you haven't already um, yeah Psalmist said, I incline my heart. It has to happen within, not just the behavior, but the belief that drives the behavior has to change or the change won't stay. the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed it and also benefited from it i hope it's inspired you to switch up your morning christian routine and also make it a bit more engaging and switch it up a bit so yeah leave a like comment something down below what you liked about the circuit what you usually do for your routine and also subscribe to the channel and stick around for more content i'll see you in my next one stay blessed and bye